What's going on everyone? My name's Spiders and welcome to the first episode of our Pokemon Insurgents Rank Lock. Now, the Rank Lock is a new Nuzlocke variant that I just made up myself. Um, we're gonna get into that after we get into the game. But first of all, I'd like to say that we're playing Pokemon Insurgents, with a, which which is, sorry, I need to speak properly, which is a fan-made game created by the Suze Rain and his team of really talented individuals. Um, I haven't seen too much of this game because I wanted to keep this more of a blind playthrough, but from what I've seen and from what people have said about this game, and I'm sure everyone and their mother has played this by now, but I'm just going to give this a little bit of a description. Anyway, from what I've seen, this looks amazing. So. We're gonna get right into this, we're gonna press enter, or at least it's A on my keyboard. We're gonna skip past that for a second, we're not gonna mention any of that for just a second. We're gonna get into the options menu. I'm um, gonna show you guys what options we're gonna be using. First off, we have our tech speed obviously on the quickest it can be. Uh, we're gonna be playing battle style shift because apparently this game is super difficult. <laughs> um, so I have that to look forward to. Uh, the screen size is just for me. Uh, I'm gonna keep the font size. You can change the font size. Oh, wow. Ooh, whoa, whoa. That was weird. All right, that changed for me. I don't think it changed for anyone else, but this the screen size just changed. So we have we can change the, the font here. I'm gonna keep on fire red and leaf green because that's the one I prefer. I'm gonna keep that to large. Music volume is fine. Everything is fine. You have a difficulty here. I'm just gonna leave on normal because I don't know how hard normal really is. And since we're doing a lock variant, that's obviously gonna increase the difficulty of the game. Um, you got turbo speed there, which <laughs> makes me so happy because if I had to play a Pokemon Way game without a, a speed of button that wasn't a 3DS game, I'd probably be very upset. But we got all that, everything is good, and we're going to jump into a new game. We got controls there, everything is here, and let's just fucking jump into it. Let's go. I did a quick test run to see if I could play this alright, and you can see my little... There's something a little bit different that you may not notice just yet, but we'll get into that in just a second. We're gonna get to a new game. And this is Pokemon Insurgents. Welcome to Pokemon Insurgents. The current version is release 1.1 with six badges. Would you like to play Would you like to play with the lighter or darker story? So, with Pokemon Insurgents, there are two alternate story modes, apparently, which is crazy. That's like ridiculous amount of work, but I respect that. The lighter story has no character death and lightens some plot points. Uh, the story's the same, but it's not as dark. Okay. Since we are playing a rank lock, which the rules for this will be in the description anyway, we're gonna be playing a darker story. So basically what the rank lock is, is for every Pokemon that we catch, obviously we're playing by the normal Nuzlocke rules. For example, if a Pokemon dies and it's gone forever, we can only catch the first Pokemon in each route and such and so forth. With the darker story, and with the rank lock, I felt it was appropriate to bring back some of the features I had in my Advanced Adventures Nuzlocke, which was essentially we're using military rankings for our Pokemon. So, Pokemon can be promoted, Pokemon can be demoted, and we're gonna have a little bit more story with this. Now, the extra story is something that I'm just kind of experimenting with. We'll see that in the next episode, so we don't have to worry about that just yet. But the first thing is that we're gonna have promotions and ranks for each Pokemon. So, they're all gonna be military ranks, like Private, Corporal, Sergeant, and so forth, and so on. And what these promotions will do is whenever a Pokemon gets promoted, it will have higher priority in grinding. So it will get to a higher level in grinding. It will have higher priority when it comes to saving Pokemon in a sticky situation. Like if I have to sacrifice someone, I'm going to sacrifice a lower rank. Um, and when it comes to things like TMs, you know, if I have a flamethrower TM and two fire types, I'm going to give it to the, the Pokemon who is higher rank, obviously. And some other stuff that we can think of along the way. So we're going to go with the darker story. That is a basic overview on what the rank lock is. It's just something that I made up. I thought it would be pretty cool to bring back from another uh, LP that I did quite a while ago. But let's go with the darker story. Let's get into the game. We spent too much explanation time. Let's get into this. The Torn region, one year ago. Damn, this music. I love this music, though. I love this music. The first thing you hear when you get into the game, it's fantastic. I love it. All right. Thank you all for coming. We live in dark times, my friends. A grave loss has recently befallen us all. The Ogre, the Ogre, the, o the, the Ogre, uh, the Ogre, Shrek, was a great man. Not only was he an unmatched trainer, but his heart burned with the desire to protect his people. He was our hero, and possibly the best leader the Torn region has ever known. But... As you know, where other regions have their evil teams or organizations, it's Pokemon worshipping cults that call the Torn region home. But to these cults, religion is so much more than just believing. 
They won't rest until the world is remade exactly how they want it to be. For all protection, the Aug- I'm just gonna call him the Augur, I don't know if that's correct pronunciation, but it's whatever. Has defeated and disbanded them over half of them. He saved us. A week ago, he went searching for the, one of the remaining cults. He has not returned, and he hasn't been seen since. People of Torin, I, like you, do not believe our Argo is dead. Now I assure you, I will search tirelessly until he is found again. With a heavy heart, I accept the burden of taking his place until he is found. Until the first Argo returns, I shall be the second. <gasps> I don't believe you for one second. You're just taking his place. He's mysteriously disappeared, and oh, you got a promotion. Oh, that's that's pretty. Uh, that, that that worked out pretty good for you, didn't it, buddy? And you're the one who's looking for him too. Hmm. I wonder if you'll ever get found. <laughs> I promise you, I'll use every resource at my disposal to find him. Sure, sure, buddy. Sure. We will stand our ground. We will not let these cultists, these insurgents, hmm, roll credits, you know, <laughs> split apart our families and destroy the place we call home. Long live the Torn Region. And everyone's cheering. We will remain strong! Alright, so everyone is, uh, everyone's hyped, everyone's good to go. Now, would we like to do a challenge run? Yes, we would. Uh, we're gonna go for the Nuzlocke. I was thinking about doing a randomize, but... For our first playthrough of Pokemon Insurgents, it would probably be best if we didn't randomize it. Uh, we have all these other challenges here too. We have PP challenge, egg challenge, solar run, mystery challenge. I don't really, I don't know if this is like a random or, or I don't know what that is. Non-technical, I don't know what that means either. And bravery, which I, once again, I have no idea what that means. We're just gonna go for the base Nuzlocke and add our own rules on top of that. That is good, and we are, we are fantastic. All right. Fainted Pokemon will not be healed at Pokemon centers. Revives Sacred Ash and other ways to revive your Pokemon will also fail. Are you sure these are the things you wish to play by? Yes, I do. I am sure. All right. Hello. Is this thing working? Can, can you hear me? Oh, thank Arceus, you're not gone just yet. Hey, listen, you gotta listen to me. It'll return any, it'll return any minute now. You need to stay focused and remember all you can. If you value your memories at all, you'll listen to what I have to say. You gotta be quick. You at least remember your name, right? Yes, I do. It is Patterson gonna type that in on the keyboard. And I can actually type in my full name in this game, which is something that I can't do very often, so that makes me happy. Okay. Okay, good, you remember your name. Uh, what else do you remember? Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a dude. Do you remember what you look like? -na 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 -na. Anyone who's seen some of my face cam videos will know what I look like, and right there in the middle is me! <laughs> it's- I got my signature Fallout hoodie on, I got my ginger hair, and I- I had- Okay, so, the person that did this for me, I have to give a huge thank you and a huge shout out to the person who did this for me. Uh, his Twitter account will be linked in the description. This is done by Vault Tech TM. He did all the spriting for me, and I have to be, I have to say, like, a huge thank you for that. It looks really cool. Like, having myself in this game is fucking amazing. So, we are in this game, legitimately in this, oh, I just minimized it. Hope that didn't fuck anything up. Yep, yep, hope that didn't fuck anything up. Oh, no, it didn't fuck anything up. Fantastic. All right. It's here. Patty, you need to wake up. Waking up. I've sent someone to fend it off and get you out of there. You need to wake up! Alright, okay, I'm waking up, jeez. Oh, there's my little ginger hair! <laughs> if you don't know what I look like, you can just like scroll down the videos on my channel. There's quite a few videos with my face in and generally wearing that Fallout hoodie, so you can see exactly where the basis for that came from, but... Alright, the door's locked and Gengar's doing a thing. Soon, Dream Eater will rid the prisoner of her, his last memories. Hopefully, we'll be done within the hour. Oh, hey there, girl. How you doing? Well, how is our youngest prisoner faring? According to the computer, Miss Persephone, their memories should be completely gone very soon. Everything's going as planned. Ah, excellent. Finally, we'll have fulfilled our end of the bargain. Good work, you two. We're starting the ritual soon up in the upstairs room. Will you be attending? Of course, Miss. Now it never be a sac sacrifice for killing people already. Very well. I'll see you upstairs then. M miss, wait. I have a question. After the child's memories are gone, what do you plan to do with them? I kill them, of course. I expect you upstairs within two minutes. If you're gonna just kill me, why, why would you bother? Yeah, exa exactly. He's thinking what I'm, I'm thinking, you know. He's, we got the same mindset going on here. Why are we just bothering? Why are we wiping our memories if we're just gonna kill them anyway? No clue, but thanks for not asking that in front of her. You know how she hates to be questioned. Let's go upstairs then. It's always fun to see a ritual being performed. All right. So I'm gonna need to get out of here. Stop eating Gengar, what are you doing? That's kind of rude and stuff. Mew? Mew, Mew, is that, Mew, Mew, is that you? Mew. Oh, look at Mew! Oh, you're 
adorable. <laughs> oh, hey there. The Gengar's gone. No, sorry. <clears throat> the Gengar's gone. Go, follow me. Get out of here and never look back. Good luck. I have no idea what kind of person is talking to me right now, but... Uh, oh, look at this! <laughs> look at this! I'm in the fucking game! Look at this, look at this shit! Look at that! That is fantastic! <laughs> Alright, so, we have our own little sprite in the game here, which is cool, just as cool as anything. We have ourselves a Mew. What's up, buddy? But if you guys were excited to start our Pokemon Insurgents rank lock, then be sure to destroy that like button right below this video. If we can hit 1,000 likes in the first episode, well, I will just be super happy. I'll be sitting here with a huge smile on my face is what I'll be doing. All right, let's get out of here. We gotta go. I'm playing with my controller. Um, I'm not exactly how sh Oh, look at that. You got little potions on the ground and everything. That looks so nice. I'm not exactly sure how well this will work with my controller because you're not supposed to use it. You're supposed to play this with a keyboard and mouse or... With a keyboard, basically. And I have a program that lets me program certain buttons on my controller to keys on the keyboard. And I'm using that. But it, it, it's working decently so far, but, you know, it's not like, it's not an official thing. It's just like a bootleg third-party thing. We'll see how it works. Mew is holding a small note. I chose Mew to help you out of this mess due to its special ability. I cho- I cho- Okay, I like to repeat myself, too. <laughs> It's able to use transform to change its form and disguise itself as something else. However, unlike Ditto, Mew can transform you too. You can do it too with can do. Oh, I missed that. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> so Mew can transform us. What is all this green goopy stuff? What is what is going on with this? It's freaking green goopy stuff. <laughs> all right. Oh, damn. We had a we had a sacrifice going on here. All right. It's a large statue of Darkrai. It's cold to the touch, and you feel tired just standing around it. All right, is it? That's just blood? It's disgusting. Oh, we got the DNA of a Darkrai cultist. All right, Mew, do your thing. Transform me. Yeah, it's, oh my. Can we like do that a lot? There is there like options? Can I transform myself into other? Oh my, I'm so hyped to start this. This game looks cool as shit. This is great. Okay. So can I get through here? With a fingerprint scanner. Okay. Yeah. See, I got the fingerprints of one of the cultists now. One of the ones that died. E I, I, I guess is no one gonna like look at my face and be like yo aren't you dead <laughs> like I know we have the hoods on but surely like surely you could see underneath the, I guess I guess we'll just like pull our hood down a bit and just pretend that we're someone else I don't know all right let's oh my god let's pick up all the free stuff that we can while we're here and there is a speed up button in this game which makes me very happy but I uh, will just have to it's it's not like super speedy, but it's 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 a lot better than than nothing. It is a lot better than nothing. All right, what's over here? Ooh, we got ooh, we got we got so much stuff to steal. I'm gonna pick up all of this. All right, I'll grab an awakening. We will grab a potion, and we'll see exactly where this sacrifice is taking place. It's probably up these stairs, actually. What is with all this green goop, though? Like, clean up your hideout, guys. This, this is disgusting. Hey guys, what's up? Persephone's finally decided to give the summoning of Darkrai another try. Oh, I love this! Darkrai is my mascot. It's my favorite Pokemon. This is great. <laughs> hey, what's up? You look really familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Oh, I don't know. Fuck, man. Maybe this cult? Idiot. Oh, 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 oh we're starting. We're starting. Oh, okay. I have never been to a sacrifice before. I'm really excited. And so we begin. Miss, please. You can't do this. I don't want to die. You swore when you joined us that you would give your life for us. How is this any difference? Activate the ritual circle. Oh my god. Darkrai, Lord of Darkness, I call upon you to enter our world. In return, I offer you the soul of this loyal servant to be bound to your world of nightmares forever. Voco Vertutem Umbrarum Dominium. I had to take some time to read that because I have no idea what that said. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Are they su they're summoning Darkrai? Oh my god, I'm Darkrai's biggest fan. I I'm, about I'm about to fanboy all over this. I'm about to fanboy all over this. What is going on? Did they do it? Oh my god, you're Darkrai! I'm your biggest fan! Darkrai, the Lord of Nightmares. You're the, greatest, you're the great balancer of the world. You punish the great, slay the immortal. It's been a year since I saw you last. You remember what occurred then? We accomplished, some, we accomplished something incredible that day. I thought, finally, you had just accepted our offer to join us. But you fled soon after, never to be seen again. But now I call upon you again. Darkrai, why will you not join me? 
I know my sister has seen you time and time again. Why do you favor her over me? I beseech you, Darkrai, join me. Join the cult that has long worshipped you for so long. With my guidance and your power, the world could be ours. What do you think, Darkrai? And he's gone. Well, that didn't last very long. Hmm. Well, isn't that just lovely? He's probably gone up to Celine City to see my sister again. What a waste of a grunt. And what do you two want exactly? Miss, please, I'm confident if we had another try, we could trap Dark right here. We don't know why it didn't work this time, but if you just give us another chance. Get out of my way. Fire Blast. Oh shit, he just, he just killed him. You just, you just killed them. Oh, are we okay with this? Like, morale has to be at an all time low right now. I never like sacrificing people, it's a scream. Ugh, God, this is horrible. This is terrible. We drew straws to see who would have to be sacrificed this year. The fact that it could've been easily been me up there scares me more than I like to admit. Yeah, for nothing. Literally, you did, that, that guy just died for nothing. Actually, three people just died for nothing. How do you, are you guys, leave. Seriously, leave. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Seriously? This is not a cult that I would like to be part of. Ooh, more free stuff. Well, I mean, people have been sacrificed for absolutely nothing. So that's cool, I guess. All right, let's, let's get up out. Let's get up out of here. Let's get up on out of here. I know in I know in the teaser it sort of it said a purple-haired boy, but uh, you know we're not going by that. We're not going by the purple-haired boy thing anymore. As uh, do I have to go through. <gasps> hey guy, what you're not gonna let me back through? Persephone's down there checking on the prisoner. I wouldn't. Oh, she's gonna be back up in a second, and she's gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm just gonna scoot, Ledu Just gonna get out of here. Oh, my little, oh, this is great, little Mew. Let's check on our Mew. How you doing, Mew? Oh my god, look at this thing. Pokemon 151. It's timid, we got a timid Mew. Oh my goodness. And we can see the EVs and the IVs there. The t oh my, god, this is great. We got Psychic Barrier, Ancient Power, and Amnesia. Okay, let's get out of that menu real quick. Oh my god, this, uh, oh, transform. Whoa, I don't wanna do that, I don't wanna do that, no. Yeah, there's, okay, there's no reason to use that now. All right, fantastic. Okay, I need to get used to these controls still. I'm sorry about this. Oh, God. I, <laughs> yeah, I still have to get used to these controls. I'm gonna turn down the volume for a second, actually. I feel like that may have been a slightly too loud. Okay. Let's just make our way downtown, I guess. Oh, we got the grass here. Oh, we got an encounter. Okay, so the Nuzlocke rules don't really officially start until we, uh, ah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> My little spiky hair. I actually have pretty short hair in real life, but um, because of these, these sprites and stuff, it was, I mean, if I had longer hair, that's probably what it would look like. I would probably have like really messy long, I do have messy long hair. That's why I don't grow it out that much. Cause I have really messy long hair. Oh, Telnar Town. There's a f small flute and another note in Mew's hands. A quartz flute, ooh, would you look at that? The note says, this flute lets you call upon Mew when it is needed. To use it, go into your bag and either use it directly or register it. Good luck, your benefactor. Wait, so I can I can call upon Mew whenever? Like a level 65 Mew? That's pretty OP. Hey there, buddy. Yeah, ellipses. <gasps> Wait a minute. Aren't you the rival? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you Gary voice. I cannot like if you're gonna be a rival, then you're getting you're good you're getting Gary voice. I could swear I saw Mew here just now. Did you see it? A tiny pink Pokemon? It was floating really close to you. Yeah, I I saw it. I, I knew it. I've always wanted to see a Pokemon that was rare. This could be my break. I, I could travel. Yeah. L l l l ellipses. My name's Damien, and I'm an aspiring Pokemon trainer. And, and you are? Batters, got it. You came to Telnar Town at the perfect time. The Augur, the greatest man in the world, of course, he is coming today. You know who the Augur is, right? Sure. <laughs> of course you do. Who wouldn't? He's only the most amazing person. Mon I mean, technically, my character doesn't know who this person is, so I shouldn't have said that. I should have said no. Actually, my character has amnesia. So. I don't know, maybe. Maybe we do, maybe we don't. The mayor and the townsfolk have been preparing ever since this morning. Like, I don't know if my character was born in this region and we should, like, have common knowledge of this or not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. I was just running errands before he arrives. I don't know. Why don't you help out? We're studying jobs in the town hall. You know, cleaning and so on. All right, sweet. So the, the town hall. So we got the Pokemon Center here. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hi there, I'm an employee at the Mart. That's a convenience store chain that can be found at the top floor of any Pokemon Center. Just let's get this one. Sweet, thank you. I, I can heal things. <gasps> oh, we can, wait. Yo, we just got Pokeballs. So, I mean, the, the Nuzlocke challenge just started. <laughs> it is, it is good and going. Oh my God, we got a clothes store. We got a clothes shop. 
Oh, this is great! I mean, I don't want to get anything that will fuck up my my actual. I mean, I could get I could get pants, but you get blue ones, you can get green ones, get gray ones, get red ones. I mean, I, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna spend any money on this right now because we have very little money to spend. So I should probably not spend any right now. Hey, Blissey. Okay, we got up here. We got the Pokemon up here. What's, what else we got here? Uh, we got okay. We got Pokeballs. I'm gonna grab some potions. You're probably gonna need a few of these. We're probably gonna need a couple of antidotes too. Let's grab some of them. Get some repel. I mean, do we really need to repel? I, I, I guess I'll get some. I'll get some. And a couple more Pokeballs just in case we need them. All right, sweet. So that is that. We spent all our. I'm broke. <laughs> I'm broke as fuck. And now we have to head to the town hall because shenanigans is occurring there. How you doing? The second augur. Mm. The second augur is the most amazing person in the like the history of ever. They say he's so strong he defeated Kyogre in a wrestling match. Really? So the first augur, sorry, hasn't been found yet. Then, well, that's kind of unfortunate. Is this the town hall? Is is this the town? Hello, hello. Tell no town, the small region in the east of the torn region. We're far away from most cities in the high life, but we're happy here. This is that all? You gonna? I'm gonna draw a portrait when it's here. After all, everyone's supposed to give me a gift. Do I have to give him a gift? So I'm like, I'm like not okay with that. No, not really. Oh hey. <sighs> oh, this is Gary. Okay. I finished cleaning up the road. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, this is Patters. I met them outside and they offered to help too. Ah, nice to meet you, Patters. Well, Damien, I think we're pretty well finished. As long as you have your gift from the Og already, I think you're done. You do have your gift, right? Uh, oh, I, uh, well, um, uh, I, I'm me here for Gretton. <laughs> uh, of course, yeah. Well, you better find one, fast. I heard you can find a rest on him when the caves in the forest. Of course, you need a Pokemon to go safely. No, no, absolutely not. Not a chance. Damien's not ready to get a Pokemon. He's just a child. Mom, please. <laughs> You're embarrassing me in front of the cool kid. Everyone in Nilsen Town already got theirs and left. You're not gonna follow them. You'll get yourself killed. What do you care? It's not like you're my real mother and- DAMN! Whoa! You gotta pull out the adoption card? Wow, dang, you're a ruthless Gary. Now I've raised you since birth. You're not capable of raising a plant other than a Pokemon. You're irresponsible, antisocial, and you can't- Whoa, hey, hey, you, you don't gotta subtweet me here, all right? I, I understand that you're talking about me. I don't, you, gotta, you don't gotta subtweet me. That's enough, that's enough, you two. You're embarrassing us. What was that? You said your name was Patters? I'm sure you've handled the Pokemon before. Uh, sure. <laughs> we'll lend one to both you and Damien. Would you be willing to help him through the forest to help him find a cave? Uh, so the cave and the gift. Can I get a gift? Yes, I can. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm very grateful. It's settled then. Patters helped Damien get a gift for the Ogre. And if Damien shows responsibility, perhaps he can give the Pokemon afterwards. Well, how's that sound? Hmm, fine. You won't though. Mm, Betty's, let's go. Oh, I guess we're. <laughs> My hair is bobbing up and down. <laughs> That's crazy. I'll meet you in the professor's lab to get an Eevee. An Eevee? Okay. Are we, we're gonna get an Eevee. Oh, wait, no, we're not gonna, we're not specifically going to get an Eevee just yet, though, hold on. There is more to be seen. There is more to do, I think. Hey there, buddy. Technology is amazing. I can talk to my friends all over the world. I can chat Pokemon, battle, even visit secret bases. Oh, well, okay. Hey, hey what you doing? What are you doing, bud? You got purple hair. Are you a trainer? If you want to succeed, you need to be ready for anything. Oh, whoa, it's gonna be three. Damn, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> you gonna give me anything too? Uh, sh she has a bunch of Eevees apparently. I'm gonna go get an Eevee right now. Hey there, I'm gonna, um, can I get myself an Eevee please? That's what I'm here for. Listen, Professor, uh, these Pokemon, they're freaks. No other trainer would want them and I keep can't keep them any longer. All I want for you is to take them. You already keep a bunch of Eevees that is. Surely these three won't be a bother. Why do you care about them? I know what you've done. It's true, I'm merciless. I've done some awful things, but there's no reason for these Pokemon to die. Uh, hello? I'm Damien, this is Patters. We're here to get a Pokemon so we can go to the forest safely. Ha, is that so, little boy? <laughs> Sylvia, if you don't take these Pokemon, they'll release them, and they're sure to die in the wild. If you want, you can just give them to these kids, right? Yeah, hmm. Put them on the table. All right. Alright, so we got some strange Pokemon over there that are apparently broken and shit. I don't believe they're broken though. I believe that every Pokemon has its own chance to do things that are the things that, that they do. Mm, so you're too annoying to Pokemon? 
Yes, ma'am. I see. That man that was in here just now, he was one of my colleagues in the university. He's a smart man and a great scientist. He's also the leader of the Cult of Perfection. Oh, damn. A, a cult leader? These people are evil, Professor. You shouldn't be talking to them, let alone be like, accepting gifts from them. She's just gonna, she's gonna like walk up to him and bitch slap him and be like, don't tell me what to do. Mm, tell me, Damien, Pattis. Have you ever heard of something called the Delta Species? Uh, I mean, technically my character doesn't know, so I'm gonna say no. Not me either. <sighs> then allow me to explain. Delta Pokemon are based on a phenomenon from the Holland region far away. They're Pokemon that have different DNA than normal Pokemon. Simply put, they're typed differently. Okay. So Electro-type Dragonite or Water Taporia. That's kind of cool. We got Deltas on the table. Ooh. Uh, Bulbasaur, Charmander. Oh, okay, so we got the Kanto starters. That's fantastic. Now, normally I would give you an Eevee as a Pokemon to start you off on your journey. However, it seems there's three more options for you to choose from. So I'll offer you this. You may choose one of the three Delta Pokemon to travel with, or the Eevee I normally give away. If you want an Eevee, talk to me. Otherwise, take your pick. Penners, I don't know what to do. I don't like the idea of Pokemon be by murderer, but I don't like the idea of these Pokemon left alone forever. You can pick, but hurry up. All right. Uh, so it's not me picking. It's gonna be you guys picking, because for the first time in a long time, we're gonna be doing a Choose My Starter episode, so. That, I mean, I'm sure, yeah, that wasn't much of a surprise because it's probably in the title and stuff, but we have to choose between the, the, the fairy psychic type Bulbasaur, oh my god, the ghost dragon type Delta Charmander, and the dark fighting type Delta Squirtle, so, or we can get an Eevee, so it's the, it's the, the Bulbasaur, the Charmander, the Squirtle, or the Eevee. Let me know in the comment section below, vote for your choice. Down there, leave a vote and I will get around to counting them and collating them and seeing who won. But that's gonna be all it for the first episode of Pokemon Insurgents. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to destroy the like button around this video. We have more special things coming on the way. Um, the end of the rank lock, it, it, that, oh my god, I can't even say things. The rank lock doesn't end just there. We're gonna have some special story stuff that will be completely custom to the series if you guys would like to see it. But I'm gonna thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.